And a superior team all season long was a superior team tonight. We were out looking for a coach. We wanted someone that would match the passion and the love for the game of college basketball, the Kentucky fans. And we got one. We got one. Thank you. Thank you very much. We found a guy who's got unbelievable passion, a tenacious recruiter. Yeah. Well, now this is the second largest group I've ever spoken to. And more importantly, he understands the mantle that he's been given here at Kentucky. We live in a different age today. This is the age of instant gratification. We are part of the microwave society. It's with great pleasure that we get to introduce the next basketball coach at the University of Kentucky. We want to put a meal into the microwave, and in two to five minutes, we want something to come out that's extraordinary. I'm very proud and excited to announce John Calipari has agreed to become the men's basketball coach at the University of Kentucky. First of all, let me thank Dr. Todd and Mitch for giving me this opportunity to coach the Commonwealth's team. John Calipari is the, the flavor of the month. He's this great coach. Oh, in nine years at Memphis, they went to the championship how many times, Skip? One time. And you just admitted all the talent that these guys had. So I'm not buying that just because he goes to Kentucky, it's automatic. They have time to make still, I think. They foul quickly. They're going to miss it. He missed it. Whoa! He's got it! I'm here because I can recruit the best of the best. Rebound Bledsoe, ahead to Wall, they got numbers. I think there is a great risk that something goes wrong, that there's some additional taint on the program with John Calipari in charge, and we're just going to have to wait and see how it plays out. in the 2010 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select John Wall from the University of Kentucky. These guys made this all happen. Five first round draft picks. That's when things changed here. We've got a coach uh, at Kentucky that put two schools on probation. University of Massachusetts and Memphis State, and he's still coaching. You know, I, I, I really don't understand that. With the third pick in the 2011 NBA Draft, the Utah Jazz select Ennis Cantor from Istanbul, Turkey, and the University of Kentucky. 
I just want to say I want to dedicate my first rookie season to Kentucky's fan the, because they just support me a lot. You know, they are so special. Like, they are so special that they will be always be in my heart, you know. And Kentucky is just amazing. Brandon Knight, where are you going to play college basketball? At the University of Kentucky. There it's Jones. Nice crossover. Oh, thrown out by Jones. Brandon Knight will put the exclamation point on another Wildcat title. Knight with three, with two, the runner goes down. Oh man, was that thrown with a little bit of velocity. It's at Knight's hand. He beat Princeton at the gun. Here he shoots. Yes, with five seconds. Ohio State racing up the floor. The season on the line. Buford for the win. Carolina's not led since it was 4-2, to 116 to play. We say so long to Wayne Turner, Hashilu Evans, Scott Padgett, and the Kentucky Wildcats. The magic is back at Michigan State. The Spartans are going to the Final Four. Marshall down the lane, shot blocked by Liggins! Got it with the left hand. Harrelson comes off of the ball and hands it to Knight. The march to the arch belongs to Michigan State in double overtime. West Virginia goes to the Final Four, the first time in 51 years. To the corner, Liggins. But when we get it right, you notice we're number one in the country, we're number one seeds, and we're playing in final fours. When you get it right. Houston, we have no problem. The Cats have landed in the final four. Okay, Kentucky is a long way from being Kentucky, a team that is going to be the favorite in the SEC, a team that is expected to get to a final four. They have a long way to go, so changing coaches is not going to return Kentucky to a top five team. Kentucky year before last started five players in the NCAA tournament games that had not been to class that semester. And that's that, that's that one and done philosophy. And I got news for him. Tubby Smith won a championship in Kentucky and that wasn't even enough for people. They wanted him no, out of I town. Agree with that. So, so he better be it better be quicker than nine years or eight years that it took in Memphis. He's better get that thing. And I say in the next four years, he better get them to a championship and win one for a change, not just yeah, for, for, for that kind of money. Right? It should happen fast and a championship should happen championship. Think, within five years at least. Fading away to the finish line with 17 seconds. And double bonus. Three years from now. I didn't want to live a life where I regretted why didn't I do this to be in the best situation to coach basketball. I think you go early enough so you have a chance for a second shot if you're North Carolina. So that's at about the five second mark. Marshall inside Zeller. So Michael, where are you going to play your college basketball and why? I'll be going to the University of Kentucky. is one of celebrations and banquets, diplomas and banners, rings and parades. A return of this legendary program back to its rightful place atop the mountain of college basketball. And if I had my choice between experience and talent, 
I'm taking talent every time. Zeller lost the handle. Henson has it. He's blocked by Davis. No foul for Miller and Kentucky. They'll take it. Five more. Off the block by Anthony Davis. You must reevaluate your shot selection when Anthony Davis is on the board. Anthony Davis, baby. Anthony Davis took the fifth most shots on our team. He will take the challenge every single game to guard the other team's best player. Didn't stop. He blocked it, and we win the national title. From Portland, Oregon, number three, Terrence Jones. won those last two games in a large part because how Marcus T played. From Queens, New York, number 20, Duran Lamb. Darius Miller started the year before, was the MVP of the SEC tournament, and accepted coming off the bench. Passes out to Miller, three right side, got it! But to come here and have an opportunity to add to the wall, can you imagine they don't put banners up here for anything else except national champions? That's why you want to coach here. And the superior team all season long was the superior team tonight. And the Kentucky coronation is complete. Champions 2012. With the first pick, with the second pick in the 2012 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Hornets select Anthony Davis. Well, you've been waiting on this all my life, and I was finally here. The Charlotte Bobcats select Michael Kidd Gilchrist of the University of Kentucky and Somerdale, New Jersey. And it is the first time ever that the top two picks in the NBA draft have come from the same school in Kentucky, on top in college basketball and on top in the draft here. In 96, we wrote a best-selling business book, the number one book of the year by the New York Times. And it took us three months to write the book and three months to decide on the title. When Robert Morris lost to Mount St. Mary's in the NEC tournament here last week, their dreams of playing in the NCAA tournament died. But little did they know they would be the team to have the first chance to knock off the defending national champion Kentucky Wildcats in the NIT. A big job by Rosario to play a lane, and oh, Noel hit his left knee on the basket brace uh -oh. as he blocked that shot, and that did not look good. What a great job of hustling by Nolan. I mean, he hustled and hustled to get back, took away the layup. Let's hope the kid is okay. I'll be taking my talents for college to play at the University of Kentucky. Here he is on the drive to the basket, trying to leave it underneath. Noel, and that is a new career high. Nine block shots by Noel.
Anthony Bennett Whoa. of Toronto, Canada, and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Victor Oladipo of Indiana University. There's the first block of the night. By Erlen's Noel. Erlen's Noel goes up against Holloway, blocks his seventh shot. That is just incredible what Erlen's Noel has done with four fouls in this ball game. Domination as a rim protector. Hayes with the nice show and go. Noel with the flush. And it's back the whole time. And New Orleans Noel, the freshman All-American candidate. Thank you. Nerlens Noel from the University of Kentucky. We could not decide. The book company, the publisher, the writer, and myself sat down. And we could not decide on the title. One day I woke up and I said, I've got it. And we called it Success is a Choice. I feel that I'll be prepared to play this college love. And this is why I'm choosing the university. I'm about to commit to the University of Kentucky. Aaron and Andrew Harrison, tell us, where will you be attending college? For the next four years, we'll be attending um, the University of Kentucky. Well, James, let's not waste any more time. Uh, tell us, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Where will you be headed to school next year? University of Kentucky. I'll be going to the University of Kentucky. It's up to all of us to understand how to be successful, how to win, and how to choose winning over losing. Perry and his staff, they're not done yet. Can they convince one more player to head to Lexington? We'll find out soon. I know what it says about John Calipari to have two Final Fours that are completely off the books now. I never said that this man is a great basketball coach because I don't think he is. And when I failed, I looked back on it and said, why? Why did you fail? I am so disappointed in the job I've done with this team. I can't even begin to tell you. First thing I did more than anything else is you must look in the mirror and own up to your mistakes. Never
never had a team not cohesive this time of the year. Every one of my teams, cohesive. Every one of them had a will to win more than how they were playing. Every one of them had a fight. Well, if this team doesn't have that, that's on me. Bees gives it up. Wiltshire for three. Off the heel. No good. It's over. Robert Morris has beaten Kentucky. Hold on, partner. Just hold on. You cannot point fingers elsewhere. We are all going to make mistakes. It's how we handle the mistakes is the key to becoming extraordinary. Seriously, how many goals you would have done? Well, I, you know, again, we you know, we were going to play in the NIT. I mean, there was no, I didn't look at the NIT and say, we're above that. We're not. We're an NIT team. <laughs> That's what we are. And guess what? I am an NIT coach. Next year, I'll be playing for the uh, University of Kentucky. <laughs> Assume a measure of pride in that Kentucky uniform and deliver on what is going to be the most hyped class in the history of college basketball. I want me and my teammates to go as far as we can, be the best players that we all can be, and hopefully win a national championship. What's this last week meant to you? It's so much just being named a McDonald's All-American, you know, and just playing in that game for charity people that's less fortunate than you and they're coming out here and winning a national championship and I'm I'm going to win a national championship by Kentucky next year. This program isn't for everybody. It isn't. But I do know one thing for sure it was made for him. And you put it out to me before the show John Calipari has a new book coming out. Which, which title the title is? Bouncing Back. And he ought to know better than anybody. It's a... When they become a family in every sense of the word, when they care more about their teammates than they do themselves, it's at that point we will become unbreakable and unbeatable. But I've been put here for a reason. We'll figure this out in about 10 or 15 years why I was put in this seat to coach this team, the winningest program in the history of the sport. Maybe it's to catch UCLA. I don't know. But we're going to figure out over a period of time why it was.